Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to another video. And so, um, this is just a video of my experiences. Like, um, so I've been walking with Jesus for about a year. I remember I got saved around March 2020. Yeah, yes, during the pandemic, okay? During the height of the pandemic. And, um, uh, so I was suffering from many spiritual things and then the pandemic hit and it just got worse and that just brought me to repentance man that's like okay um so it's been like a year now and um uh, i'm gonna go all the way back for all you guys who maybe some of you just recently got saved many maybe some of you have been walking with jesus for many decades now and but um Oh my goodness, he brought me so far, like what? Oh my goodness, okay, okay. <sighs> when I first got saved, guys, when I first repented and had that super incredible encounter, you could see my testimony video, it was epic bomb, okay? I was like, what is this? And then, um... Okay, okay, I admit it. The day after, I just went back on sinning. Okay, okay, guys. I was like, oh, man. Man, I hated myself. <laughs> I went back on sinning. I kept trying to contact the people who were like, um, who were trying, who were the ones that were hurting me before. But, you know, I was so attached to them. Even it, when God moved me, like, cities away from the negative folks he moved me away from that negative okay it was like i was like an israelite that was moved that was rescued from egypt and i'm just like you know i kind of want to go back to egypt because that's where my friends are that's where um, everything i knew was and i'm kind of in this new place i don't know anything that's happening here oh man guys <laughs> I was kind of like that Israelite, you know, in the Bible, that they were like, Moses and God, like, brought them so far from their place of torture and torment and bondage, and they're all complaining they want to go back. I was like, ah. Oh. So I tried to make plans to go back, you know? But of course, those plans were canceled. Bang, 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 bang. And I'm like, what is this? Okay. That's it. I cannot go back. I can only look forward, so there. And so I look forward. And then, um, I was always praying to God the Father, right? Because, um, I had an encounter with Jesus that was like, um, uh, maybe five minutes max. And I didn't know much about Jesus yet, okay? Like, um, I didn't really research into him. I didn't know him yet. I met him, but I didn't know him yet. Because only the Holy Spirit could illuminate your heart to know Jesus as a person, not just like, um, like, um, as somebody you know, but don't know, no, you know what I mean? So I didn't really know, no, Jesus, and I had no idea who the Holy Spirit was, okay? I had no idea. I just knew God the Father because, um, when I was a kid, I would pray to him too, like, just like slight prayer. I would be like, I wanted something so bad, you know? I'd be like, oh, I'm gonna pray to every single God. I'd be like, oh, please, this God, that God, every single God that could hear me, please help grant me this wish. And, um, yeah, my wish got granted, by the way, as that little kid. And I didn't know which God to thank. I just thanked every God. <laughs> I was that kid. Okay, okay. And then, as I was going through, like, riding the subway back and forth, I would hear about about God and um, how he created the world and how much he loved his people and okay I I knew more about God the Father than God the Son and God the Holy Spirit okay so I was praying to him and then he tried to introduce me to Jesus the person of Jesus and so then I started to like slowly form some kind of friendship with God the Son, okay? And then I was like, um, 
but I kind of went back to praying to only God the Father and because I was like more used to him I was more used to hearing his voice and yeah like but then he told me like there's there's more you know there's more than just me praying to him there's there's another relationship involved I rescued you so that you could be part of the bride that is to marry my son Jesus and then I'm like um but I don't know anything about Jesus and then um Jesus introduced me to the Holy Spirit see oh my goodness then I was like Holy Spirit um another person guys they are very different personalities okay very different voices as well but here's the thing they all say the same thing like they they all agree with each other like you cannot be like um the Holy Spirit tell you to do this and then you go to Jesus and be like yo um the Holy Spirit told me to do this but uh can I not no they're gonna all agree with each other because they're like one they share one divine nature you know and they all have the same plan in mind and I'm just like man so it's not like in that family where you're like my mom told me to do this I'm gonna run to my grandma and maybe she's going to like tell me I don't have to do it you know what I mean it don't work like that <laughs> So I was like, okay, this is just my experiences, guys. Like, um, so, um, I was introduced to the Holy Spirit as a person. Like, we got introduced. And then the Holy Spirit, um, how can I describe him? Okay, like, he's a really cool person. But he's also a boot camp trainer, okay? <laughs> so it's like, and Jesus is so loving. And he's like, Intava, I want you to grow in your Christian walk with me. But you cannot do that unless you have the Holy Spirit guiding you. And I was like, okay, yeah, like, um, how many of them are you? I was like, what? I just met God the Father. I'm, tr I'm trying to get comfortable here. Um, I'm trying to get comfortable. I'm, I just got plunged into this new world with this new everything, new everything. I'm trying to find a comfortable place. Uh, the beginning of my Christian walk, okay, like, I was trying so hard to just be a normal Christian. I was like, just trying so hard to find a comfort zone, you know, a place where I'm just like, okay, I'm comfortable, I'm not moving. Plap. Yeah, I was like, <laughs> I was like that, okay. But of course, Jesus had other plans in mind, okay. And then I met the Holy Spirit, and um, and then He started guiding me. He started like um, filling my heart. First, He asked me, "Do you want me to fill you?" Okay. And I'm just like, hmm. Well, Jesus got filled with the Holy Spirit. So obviously, yes, I want to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Because it was like at first the Holy Spirit was around me. He wasn't like inside my heart yet. He wasn't in, he was like, he's like asking permission. Hey, would you like to be filled with the Holy Spirit? And then I'm just like, uh, yes. <laughs> okay. And then, it was like a hot fire, okay? Like, um, he didn't fill me 100, I don't know, I, I kind of think like maybe he did fill me 100%, but I felt like, I felt like, okay, I only received 20%, I was like, okay, 30%. Mm. Um, I think he was going easy on me at first because he knew I was like the first Christian ever in my long line of generations. So I was like, oh, I have no one to run to. I have no family to run to. I was like, what is this? And so I just ran to my Bible, man. I just, I just ran to my fact check book. I was like, okay, whatever is happening in my life, I want to make sure it's happening according to scripture because scripture said, do test the spirits. Like, 
um, because the spirits would never contradict scripture if they are like um, there will be many people who will come to help you okay many spirits who will come to help you and you will hear voices of people giving you advice voices from your friends family voices from like um whether it be angels or something trying to guide you here okay and um you'd have to you have to guys you have to fact check those spirits that are trying to guide you <clears throat> there were many times as a new new born again believer that people would try to lead me astray they're like hey it's okay to worship angels hey it's okay to worship these saints hey why don't you go come join our place hey come to our church hey do this they were like pulling me apart here 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 i was like ah! you know what guys i'm still new to this let me just stick with my bible okay let me stick with my bible and, and so i was like holding on to this thing for dear life because they were like people pulling me everywhere and i'm like no 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 so i was like on shaky ground you know i was like a little lamb learning how to walk for the first time but i am so thankful yes the holy spirit was there and now that I allowed him to fill me, you know, because um, the moment you repent, you receive the Holy Spirit. But the Holy Spirit that would not do anything, okay, if you didn't give him the permission to. Like, um, he didn't want to go against your will. Like, he's, like, you have to accept him. You know what I'm saying? You have to accept him. And when he gives you gifts, you have to accept those gifts like he's not gonna force you to do anything he's not a forcing spirit the devil is a forcing spirit the holy spirit is not forcing he's loving he's a comforter he's there for you like the best friend ever but i'm telling you he's also a boot camp trainer <laughs> the best boot camp trainer ever and when you're about to sin he is going to step in and convict you of that sin. Young lady, what are you watching on your phone? Young lady, he's, yeah, he's, like you could hear his voice. You could feel him in your heart. And when you're about to do something, you know it's bad. He, you could hear his voice. Uh, and he's like, Intago, what are you doing? And I'm just like, uh, nothing. Nothing? <laughs> you know I could read your thoughts, right? And I'm like, oops oops and so like it, it's gonna uh, the more you're filled with the holy spirit the more you spend time with him he is epic guys he is epic okay the more you spend time with him the less you're gonna sin <laughs> okay point blank the more you spend time with the holy spirit the less you're gonna sin oh whoo okay okay and then um then the holy spirit illuminated my heart like he opened the eyes of my heart your heart has eyes and yes scripture does say that your heart has eyes and um the eyes of my heart were open and then i saw jesus as who he really is you know it's like like it's as if like um i don't know how to describe it but i i saw him as who he really is with like when I pray I close my eyes but I could feel his presence in that room like I could feel his presence in that room I kid you not guys his presence is more real to me than even people that I could see around me I can I ex explain this even more like when you're the Holy Spirit open the eyes of your heart like like I closed my eyes and I could feel his presence in that room. Okay. That is all I'm going to say for this video because it's going into 15 minutes now. I don't want to keep you guys sitting for so long. I'm going to just go on to the next video and yeah, I'm hoping like these videos help you guys on your journey knowing that Hey, what you're experiencing is not new under the sun, okay? It's like totally normal and totally okay on this walk with Jesus. The moment like you start getting super comfortable on that walk, 
Like the sky could fall down, heaven could fall down. You'd be like, yeah, totally normal. I'm totally used to this. Okay, next video. See you guys later.